Alright, Max is speaking. I just woke up recently, and I'm very happy because I just had a lucid dream before waking up. And not only was it a lucid dream, meaning something happened in the dream, and I realized I was dreaming, um, I didn't do a reality test. I should have, but just I observed some, a phenomenon in the dream itself, and I was like, oh, this is a dream. Um, but... So I was dreaming just a bit ago. I was, and also, can I just say before I talk about this lucid dream, just yesterday I was complaining, or not complaining, but just like, damn, I really want to have more dreams of spirits. I really want to have more lucid dreams. I don't know what the secret is. I just want to have a lucid dream. and I just want to have more dreams of spirits. And then freaking this morning, I did. So thank you, brain. Thank you, brain, for actually listening to me for once. Uh, or I guess listening to Eli uh, yesterday, but we appreciate that. Yes, thank you, Brain. But, but um, yeah, so I was in, like, a dingy apartment in the dream. I was in some, like, some room that had, like, baseball cards and, like, a witchy candle set up. And the baseball cards had no baseball cards in them. It was just, like, these sleeves that had instead, like, toys and candy and, like, games in the, in the card sleeves when I would open them. And I was just, like, going through this person's mail. I think I was a guest in the apartment, so I probably shouldn't have been doing that. Whenever I'd find, like, pieces of candy, I would just, like, eat it. Or games, I'd play with it. And then I, like, would toss the papers. And I think the bedding, because I was, like, on a bed or sitting on a bed, was, like, yellowish. And the candle had been next to me. I was laying down. And I think in the dream, I fell asleep for, for a bit. But then I got up, and I noticed the candle had moved from being on the um, dresser next to me to being behind me. And so I'm like, oh, that's weird. And then I pick the candle up by the flame. <laughs> And that's when I become lucid, because I'm like, first off, this candle didn't burn me. Second off, um, I, the dream was, you know, trying to make a fake fire hazard. But in putting out the fire hazard, I realized I'm dreaming, because it didn't work how that usually works. And so I put the candle down. I realized I'm dreaming. And then right when I realized I'm dreaming, I started to feel the presence of one of my spirits, like they were reaching out to me or trying to get to me. And then Vine, the demon Vine, who is a um, lion, I need to pronunciate things right, a lion man, Vine is a lion man, <sighs> don't get my demons confused now, uh, <laughs> it's not even the only lion man, there's a lot of lion man demons. But we have, like, four. <laughs> uh, okay, but, like, he enters the room, right? And Vine is with me, and he... Oh, gosh, can I share this on TikTok? I'll share it, but I gotta be careful with how I phrase it. Like, he wants to hold me and um, be intimate with me. And so I'm all for that. And I start to hold him and, like, talk to him. And, um... <sighs> How do I phrase this in a TikTok okay way? And then we're doing stuff. <laughs> and at first, like, we try it with him on top, but it doesn't quite feel right. And so I switch to being on top. And when I'm on top, um, and dream me is, uh, in at least in this dream, was a cis man, meaning I had all the parts of a cis man um, rather than uh, a trans man. And... I was doing it with Vine, <laughs> and then I could feel that I was about to wake up really soon, and he just sort of, like, held me. Um, we stopped doing it. He held me, and he said, it's okay. It's okay, Max. And then I held them, and I woke up in my bed, and I did another reality check, which I just did the simple nose pinch te test to make sure this isn't a dream, and then I recorded in my dream journal what happened. Uh... So that's, that's the dream I woke up from. I got two in one. I got a lucid dream and a demon dream, baby. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Anyway. <laughs>